Every year, millions of pounds of chemical pesticides are used to control arthropod pests, diseases, and weeds to maintain crop productivity. Excessive use of some of these chemicals is detrimental to environmental and human safety. Non-chemical pest management options have been gaining popularity in the recent past. Today, I will focus on one type of non-chemical alternative, entomopathogenic fungi. Let's break down this term. Entomo refers to arthropods like insects, mites, and ticks, so entomopathogenic fungi are fungi that infect and kill insects and other such organisms. We can refer to them as insect-killing fungi. These fungi can survive in soil, on plant roots, or on foliage. When a fungal spore comes in contact with an insect, they germinate by producing a germ tube. Then, they form a structure called an apressorium at the end of the tube, which exerts a mechanical pressure and releases enzymes that degrade the insect cuticle to penetrate insect integument and cause an infection. Insects try to fight the infection through melanization and other defense mechanisms, but exposure to multiple spores usually overcomes these mechanisms and leads to an infection. Once inside the insect body, the fungus multiplies and invades the host tissues, which eventually kills the insect. Then, the fungus grows outwards, emerges from the dead insect, and produces more spores that can continue the infection cycle. Entomopathogenic fungi can infect and kill a wide variety of arthropods that attack plants, humans, other mammals, or birds. One group of entomopathogenic fungi, known as entomophthoraleans, cause natural epizootics and control pest populations. These are difficult to grow on artificial media on a large scale to use as biopesticides. However, another group of fungi, known as hypocrealeans, can be mass-produced on a commercial scale and some of them are available as biopesticides. These entomopathogenic fungi-based biopesticides are safe for mammals and several natural enemies of insect pests because of co-evolutionary adaptations. In the past two decades, research expanded the understanding of entomopathogenic fungal interactions with plants and plant pathogens. It appears that entomopathogenic fungi can have multiple roles other than killing insects. First, they can colonize plant roots, act as an extended root system, and improve nutrient and water uptake. This means they can reduce nutrient leaching and allow plants to grow with less water. Second, they can colonize plant tissues and sometimes infect insects that bore into the plant tissues or indirectly reduce the fitness of insects feeding from the outside through fungal toxins. Third, they can also antagonize plant pathogens either through competitive displacement or by metabolites. All of this means entomopathogenic fungi are safe and effective alternatives to chemical pesticides and will be useful for sustainable agriculture through their multiple roles.